Welcome back to the Animus, everyone. And today we're going to be taking a look into one of the new Gundam series, Witch from Mercury model kits, Gundam Live for It. This model kit, definitely, definitely something that stepped up their game. Bandai really did step up their game with this model kit. I have to say, they, they, from the artwork in the boxes to the materials that they use for the plastics to the details in the manual, the artwork on the manual, everything in this model kit just screams new generation, right? So uh, I know that there's a lot of videos out there that compare these to 30, uh, 30 minute missions and definitely you can definitely see the resemblance in these kits so uh, i would still recommend that you use the manual if it's your first time building one of the witch from mercury model kits however if you are interested please stay tuned for the rest of this video so you can see the whole process through the build of the kit itself i do have to say everything in this kit was just smooth i did not have any issues building the kit whatsoever aside from maybe misreading the instructions here and there when it came to uh, fitment of parts or placement of parts. So with that being said, the artwork from these boxes clearly pull you in. The details, the colors of the plastics, the color separation from the model kit itself as well. It is not too bad at all, uh, especially for a high grade kit. I do have to say I was not disappointed at all when I saw the sticker sheet. It, usually when I see high grade kits, especially lately, Look at the high grade kits and they're just flooded with stickers. This kit only brought essential stickers for detailing, especially with the metallic stickers, which I believe was a definitely good touch. Now I do have to say that I did not use any extra effort on this video. I did not panel line the, the kit. I just minimal cleaning of that printed design on the plastic itself as well for the chest piece was great. I did not use it in this video. However, I will be using it for chapter two of this video. So please stay tuned.
that is it for today's video. I would like to thank everybody for joining the Animus today. And if you like the content, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for future content and supporting the channel. If you would like to see the progress with the Gundam Lifrid itself, please make sure to stay tuned for the episode 2 of this build series where we were going to take this Gundam Lifrid and elevate it to the next level.